I am going to pick you, Joe, first. And I got into a bit of debate on Twitter the other day. And I do understand that this is probably a generational thing, possibly. Um, I think Jimmy Abdu is a legend. He's in the top 10 appearances. He's done 10 years with the club. He won player of the year um, twice on two different years apart. Not not consistent. Two years on the trot. Two different, two different points. He scored... Um, the winning goal against Leeds for the player final, which obviously we went on and won against Swindon. And he was he was loved by Millwall fans up and down the country. Now, Jeff Wallace. Jeff Wallace is a good player. No taking away from him. Without him this season or the last season, we would probably be in a bit of doo But he's never won player of the year for whatever reason. Has he had any standout historic moment for us? Yes, he scored the final goal when we beat Leeds 4-3, but it was only a league game, not a cup game. And is Jed Wallace a Millwall legend or is he just an outstanding player who we've been lucky enough to have? Start with you first, Joe. Um, I would say he is a very, 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 very good player. Uh, is he a, a Mill legend? I, I, I would say no, unfortunately. Um, if you sign, you know, a new contract and spend over three or four seasons with us, maybe until we kind of get to his sort of early thirties and we win a promotion or get to a playoff final and he contributes to that, then perhaps, yeah, but. Uh, I agree with you there, Mickey. I don't think he's done enough, really, um, despite him scoring you know, goals and creating so many assists for us each season, being quite consistent with it. I don't think he's really done enough to warrant that title. Um, like you say, like Jimmy Abdu, I think he fully deserves that title. I think you go back even further to the likes of Terry Herlock. When I was a kid watching Mill in the late 80s, I think he, he gets it. I think Neil Harris deserves that title. But um, ever since Neil Harris, I don't think there's anyone at the moment that's kind of really sort of got to that point where you say, yeah. Steve Mill Morrison, Mitch. you could understand with Steve Morrison maybe scoring the winner mm. at the playoff final. But again, I don't think then, that was probably enough to yeah. make him a Millwall legend. If we, if we were right now and we mm. had the Millwall Hall of Fame, which has been talked about for years and years and years, mm. Jimmy would get my vote. If it was between Jimmy and Jed, Jimmy would get my vote all day. Oh, yeah. But then, like, look at Tim Cahill. He was fantastic for us. You know, he scored an important goal in the semi-final against Sunderland at Old Trafford, you know, and what a player he, he, he was for us. Um, and again, he's a very, 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 very good player as well. But was, is he a Mill legend? I don't know. Someone would argue and say, yes, personally, I, I, much like I, I liked him. I didn't think he's quite in that sort of bracket. I don't think Morrison is either, unfortunately. Um, people talk about, you know, Barry Kitchener being a Mill legend. I, I wasn't around to watch him play, but the older generation, my father-in-law used to watch him back in the day, he would say that, yes, he is, because he was just a fantastic player and probably... And, and he played over 600 and something well, games for Millwall. And exactly. he had the opportunity to go anywhere else, and he never did. As you, as That's you right. Knew, in that show, what I did last week with um, with those 70s heroes, they, yeah. they, they really do talk about him. But So yeah. you're... Your view, Jed Wallace, good player. Yeah, he's not a Millwall legend. That's right, exactly. Sorry, Jed, if you're if you're listening, but <laughs> we love you. We love. I love you. I love you. I love you to sign and sign your contract. But yeah, at the moment you haven't quite done enough for me. And that's just my, my opinion, unfortunately. Yeah. I've heard I've heard a rumor before that um, he does listen. So look, this isn't this isn't anything in that against case, you. you know, I'll take that back. Yeah. You know. He is a bit of a legend after all, you know. <laughs> is it is it too late for April Fools? What month is it? <laughs> <laughs> Kai, what's, what's your thought? Listen, I uh, listen, right? Um, we know that a few players, uh, we've been told that there's a few players who listen to us. We know that Millwall, um, some of the people inside Millwall listen to us. So this isn't any, this isn't in any way disrespectful to you, Jed. You've been an absolute servant to us. Um, we appreciate everything you've done. You're fantastic. 
But I don't think you're there yet. I think maybe another couple of seasons and you would definitely see yourself in there. But mm. right now, I don't think he is. And he's got nothing to do with you not signing your contract or signing your contract. It's just, I just don't think you've ticked enough boxes to be there yet. Kai, you're, you're the younger generation, closer to the age I was arguing with online the other day. So what's your view? Mill legend or just an outstanding player? See, it's difficult for me because since I've been a Millwall fan, so I've been going Mill since 2006, roughly. Um, so over that time, Jimmy, legend. Um, but then is there any other legends? I mean, obviously Harris, another one. I've just managed to catch him before he retired. Um, t- Tony Craig, potentially, I don't know. Tony Craig, potentially. Mm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, would you not, I wouldn't say that. I think you can make a case for him off Morrison yeah, than, than Craig, I would say. Yeah. It's, it's difficult, isn't it? It's difficult. Oh, it's to, isn't it? But yeah, who you put, who you put into that sort of bracket. Mm. Um, I guess because Craig came back quite a few times. I mean, you, you know, played quite a few games, but then again, as you're right, you know, maybe Robbo definitely in there for me. Um, yeah. I don't know. In terms of, I guess, quality, Jed, is up there in terms of the best players I've seen at Millwall. Um, just because of, you know, we have legends like Harris and we have legends like uh, Jimmy Abdu. And even though they gave their, you know, they worked their socks off all game and that was, you know, the superb. They were superb for the club. I think Jed sometimes, you know, gives us that moment of quality that maybe other players haven't over the years, if that makes sense. Um, mm. See, Harris scored some really important goals, but Jed almost sort of, I guess, finds a way sometimes to just take the game away from the opposition and, you know, you might, you, you could almost sum that up as Morrison almost, like Morrison wouldn't do anything all game, but then he'd score a really important goal late on and you'd be thinking, brilliant, let's not take him off. Same with Jed. If we're 1-1 or it's 0-0 nil, nil or 1-1 or down, I'd never understand taking Jed off because if we get a free kick in the last minute or, or you know, something like that, Jed, Jed whips the ball, you know, Jed scores, you know, Jed scores, you know, he's got a lot of free kicks for us over the years. It's probably not always, it's not worth taking him off because just in case you get that chance. So I am going to go with Jed's probably not a legend for the club, but he's probably, he's probably closer for me than maybe, maybe others. Um, just maybe because of my age. Yeah. Okay. Come on in, Chris. <laughs> Is Jed Wallace a real legend or just a fucking outstanding player? <laughs> I think he's he's one of the best players I've seen in a middle show in my sort of 30 years. Um, he um, he has won games for us single-handedly. I think you can be honest and say that. Some of his free kicks in, in the last couple of years, he's done that for us. Um, I think he's a leader. I think you can see it on the pitch. Everyone watches and, and watches what he does. I, I think, know exactly where you're going with this. Go on. <laughs> I think um, he's a model professional <laughs> on and off the pitch. Um, Absolutely. He, conducts himself uh, exemplary um, from what I see. And he's a genuine top bloke to boot. Is he a Millwall legend for me? Not quite. Um, I think it takes the, the meaning away of, of, of what a legend is and it dilutes it if you have too many. Um, mm. And um, I think it depends <clears throat> on the criteria of a legend is. I, I don't think it's just because they're the best player or because they played so many games or because they've scored a, a vital moment because then you'd have Morrison in there or whatever and he divides things. So I think when you add all those things together, he's not quite a legend. He's in that next bracket. I was thinking about this whilst you, you were chatting and I only caught the tail end of this person's career at Millwall, but I looked at the goals and the amount of games that this person played for Millwall and I think he's in a very similar bracket, but we might just forget. And I wouldn't class this person as a legend. I'm talking about Alex Ray. So Alex Ray wasn't a striker, scored one in three-ish for us, over Mm -hmm. 200 appearances, Um, a fantastic player for the club. Is he defined as a Millwall legend? I don't think he is. Um, He's probably... Interesting point, Chris, just what you mentioned there is, when you think about what Alex Ray did in regards to goals, appearances, or everything else... And you're right, you know, I don't think he probably deserves a title as a Mill legend, but yet Terry Herlock, people probably, I see 80% or 90% of Mill fans would say that he is a Mill legend. Now, what has Terry Herlock done more or better than Alex Ray has done other than being part of the team that got promoted to the old first division? I mean, he wasn't really known for his goal scoring, didn't really sort of create many chances. I mean, he did leave us and then go to um, Southampton, I think it was, wasn't it? And then, and then Rangers and stuff. So 
you know, if anything, I think Alex Ray probably did as good, if not yeah, a better job maybe for his goal scoring federation. What what is that difference? How you define that Mill legend status in that case? If you compare those two players, what, how do you compare them? I mean, I, I wasn't around for Material that played, so I can't I can't really comment to be honest. I'll have to ask my old man. But <laughs> from from what I hear, um, it was just the way he played the game, and right, okay. he, he just epitomised the 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 kind of Millwall fan but on the pitch yeah um, I, I i don't know i think it's a really good point joe um but i just mm. wanted to bring alex ray up because i i was like looking at what they were here no, no, that's a... that was kind of to me very very similar and i was like right yeah. well no class alex ray is a legend probably not then therefore jed i can't either. absolutely yeah. jed signed a new three-year deal tomorrow and then end up racking up three 350 appearances for the club yeah continued the same vein where he is now whether we got yeah. promoted or not then yes, I would. Yeah. I'm not quite there yet. To sign the contract, basically. Yeah. yeah Jeff, watch him, mate. Get your pen out. <laughs> <laughs> but 